um, we had our back to school braiding bash and one of the things that we was doing was that all these people they either do here at home or they own their own beauty shops and so the thing is that God gave them the gift to be able to braid hair he gave it to them they didn't have to pay for it they didn't ask for it he blessed them with that gift and so what they did they're giving back to the community because if God didn't give it to them they wouldn't be able to make money so this is also part of that tithe and offering piece they're offering to the community what God gave to them and so today we have 15 to 20 braiders who came today to braid our girls hair they weren't just doing anything they were sewing in crochet corn rolls latch braids whatever they asked for they got it we just asked them to wash their hair blow dry their hair and provide the hair and the service is free but guess what even if they didn't have the hair we got a stash of hair for those that just didn't have it all right this is miss binky she's the founder of this braid bash all right all right tell us a little bit about yourself well my name is binky and um, I am the founder of the Back to School Gray Bash. I have two right hand and left hand people, Tasha Van Pelf and Miss Pearl, who are my coordinators. We've been in existence for three years now. So this is the first time we have partnered with the Board of Education. We're happy to do that. So we're just here giving free great services to our community, and just having a good time with our friends and food and fun. So come on out, have you a good time. All right, all right. And so hey, what made you, how did you get started with this? I don't know. With braiding or the bag? With the bag and with bringing, the bag. The, bringing them both together. I decided, what can I do to give back? What do I have? We all have talents. So it's up to us as individuals to share those talents. So I said, if I can braid, then that'll be my talent that I offer to the community. Mm. And luckily, I had a big response the first year. The second year was even better. And you see what's going on now. Awesome. So yeah, we're awesome. just giving back to the community. One person at a time. One person at a time. But we appreciate you because people work. like you, if we could just multiply that, then it's going to make us a better. <laughs> the whole world. Yes. Uh -huh. Connected. Thank you so much. That's right. Thank you. Right. Um, on top of that, we have um, supporters who gave back uh, backpacks and school supplies um, to give to the kids who can't um, get backpacks and school supplies. Yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How, hey, how you, you doing? doing? Hello. How you doing what y'all got going on over oh, here? Man, this is the Bridge Builder Backpack Giveaway. So this is Ashley. Hey, how you doing? I'm the secretary for the Bridge Builder. So what we're doing here today, we're giving out backpacks and supplies. It's Angelica asked us to come out and partner with us. So we're giving out supplies. And you can come get a backpack for your child. You can get paper, pencil, folders, crayons, Crayola. Um, what we do throughout the year, we give back to the Ronald McDonald Foundation. We do um, back to school haircuts for kids once a month at our school at Court Howe. We do supply closets, ice cream socials, everything that we want to give back to the kids. Also for the undergraduates that's in our program, they get suits and a portfolio to take on to their next adventure. So basically what we're doing is just building a bridge. We start in little, keep on going, keep on going. Everybody can give back. It's like a revolving cycle. And again, Daniel Craig is our founder. Hey, how you doing? I'm Daniel Craig, and just like Ashley said, we are here to give out backpacks and supplies for the students. We're very excited about this. Give the parents an opportunity to take their break and not worry about their finance. Uh, being able to give them their uh, opportunity for the kids to pick a bag out, get some supplies, be ready for school, and be ready to know that, hey, we got your back, and we're here for you. And that's helping the community. And one thing you do is give to the community, and the community give back to you. And we have the train, the horse, the game truck. But I didn't do this by myself. I had so many sponsors like the Bridge Builders, Bishop Campbell, um, First Apostolic Church and Pastor Shoulders. Uh, I had personal sponsors. I had people who just donate their time, like the person in there doing the uh, face painting. Right now, she's looking for black paint. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so get, hey, tell me a little bit about yourself and what's your name? So my name is Nan and I'm um, part owner of Turning Art Production. And as we stated, he's, we're out of Murfreesboro. So we do a large array of art. We do from children's artwork to adult artwork. We do juice box and draw for children. We do sip and strokes for adults. We do murals. We just finished doing a big mural. Um, out in Murfreesboro, Tennessee for something called Sleep Pig. Okay. Um, and we're working on some new projects here out of East Nashville. So, um, we're, we're full-time artists. Okay, so, so how can people get in touch with you? So, our website is turninartproduction.com. That's T-E-R-N-A-N, artproduction.com. You can 
It's our um, Instagram page of Turning Art Production 1306. Every time we have a new project, we do live. We go live to show off what we're doing, um, to be able to give exposure to our company because we are a small African American company um, out of Murfreesboro, and we're trying to spread the word that we are here. We do children's birthday parties. I'm an actual professional clown. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, we, we don't just do one phase of art. We do canvas artwork. We do motorcycles. We do cars. Anything that you need that can be customized, we got you. All right. Well, you heard it. You heard it. And hey, we're going to keep it moving. You did it better than I did. Hey, don't you know what? But I see y'all a team. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Hey, so it was a pleasure talking to you guys, and thank y'all for coming out and uh, supporting the community. So I just thank everybody, Darnell Scoby and 100 um, Productions who donated money. So everybody who donated to make this happen, I appreciate them so much um, for coming out and making this happen. We do it every year, but it don't have to stop at the beginning of the year. The kids need all the time. So I don't want you to feel like you're giving to them and like they're latching on or they need because it's not that. We struggle. And so because we struggle, if we give back and everybody pull together, then everybody can succeed. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.